Oh, yeah, baby! What? 9-5! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you can leave now. Okay, B41. Down this way. On this episode of the road trip, my brother Colin and I travel to Vancouver, British Columbia to visit some close friends and scratch a dream trip off our bucket list. To our boy Josh. Cool. The paparazzi are here. What's going on? Boys. Yeah. How are you, man? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you, man. Am I allowed to give you a hug? <laughs> How are you? Uh, good. good. I was going to try to get this all finished for you guys. I didn't quite. No, it's perfect. But, yeah, it's sweet. We are heading to. Where are we going? <laughs> heading to Browns Bay Marina. Head out to the ocean, do some lingcod fishing tonight. And then we got Josh's truck and boat. So thank you, Josh. Oh yeah. He's got like the back all dialed in for us. So we can sleep in the back. Yeah, we got a couple mattresses and sleeping bags. So we'll find somewhere to sleep tonight. And then we'll probably do the same thing tomorrow morning for a few hours. And hopefully hook up to some lingcod. Just saw a dolphin, two dolphins. Whales. Er, not dolphins. <laughs> Whales. You can come out here and not even fish and have a time. Oh yeah. Captain Coop here, putting us on the ling cod. Let's see it. That was crazy though, me and Cole were ripping out here and wasted like half an hour just looking at everything and we saw it two whales we weren't able to get them on film because they kept getting scared of us but uh then we saw salmon like literally jumping right in front of the boat we saw like six of them it's already so cool just what we've seen we've been out here for literally 20 minutes apparently the deal is just find a hump drop a big swim bait or a big grub or something down there we're in 134 feet and the hump comes up to like 80. Imagine just donk. It's gonna happen. Oh, it's got to. There's something there. <laughs> the first sling caught of the trip. My first sling caught ever. That's the whole point of these road trips is, you know, just experiencing different things, scratching that next fishing adventure off her bucket list, and then obviously scratch a new species off her bucket list. Yeah, that's a wrap for today. We're gonna get home. We got a bunch of batteries to put on charge. Colin's gonna make us up some dinner. <laughs> I don't know what we got. We we're gonna go back to Josh's house tonight, but we're like two hours from his place, so we're gonna just stay here the night, have some cheese buns for dinner, and uh, yeah, see you in the morning. What do you gotta say, Cole? I mean, <laughs> terrible yet a great night. It's beautiful out here, seeing tons of nature but between not getting a fish and especially losing the drone, tough night for me. Was the death of the drone. <laughs> get a good sleep, get over it, and hopefully catch a big fish tomorrow.
6.30 a.m. Sun's up in half hour, so I got to sleep in here. Coop spread across the front seats of the truck. I was getting my little setup here with my sleeping bag, but let's go see how Coop did. How'd you sleep? Terrible. <laughs> Were you cold? No, oh, just these seats are like this. Oh, I bet. <laughs> the seatbelt buckle jabbing into my side. I wish I could tell you a little bit more about what we're doing, but I don't even know like where we are located. Again, we're in Browns Bay. I'm dropping back down. <laughs> on Vancouver Island. Yeah, on Vancouver <laughs> Island. But other than that, I don't know where we are. <laughs> it's fun. Fish are chewing. I don't know much about it either, but I do know a bit more than Coop. <laughs> we're, uh, we're on the east side of Vancouver Island. Little marina. Um, there's a bunch of channels that flow here into the, uh, and it comes from like the southern part of. <laughs> it comes from. Stop like, trying to act like you know what you're I talking know where about. I know where we are. We don't know where we are. We're just out here lost. Uh, east side Vancouver Island on the ocean, fishing channels, high and low tides for trying to get the big ling cod. Yeah. <laughs> Which we had on yesterday. Better than the last one. What a I'll pull up, I'll pull up. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh. Lost it? What's going on, Coop? Oh, it's been about an hour. We've been messing with the steering. It goes right, but it doesn't go left, <laughs> which isn't good. And we're slowly drifting away from where we need to be. So we're gonna go like this all the <laughs> way back home. It's 11:30. We ended up fishing Campbell River. We didn't catch any, which was crazy. There was fish <laughs> everywhere. Like, I don't know what we were doing wrong, but we did not catch a fish. We fished there for about an hour. Um, big shout out to Josh. He ended up trying to fix the steering on the boat. He didn't uh, figure it out. He figured out what was wrong with it, but uh, you know, he drove like an hour to right, right. come check it out and on a dirt road for another half hour, and we're gonna. We're gonna park the truck and get a good night's sleep and up bright and early, catch some steelhead and maybe even some coho. Oh, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> a little better setup than Coop's, I would say. So, wake up bright and early and the goal is to get a big steelhead. Fish. No. Four fish I see in a Steel? pool. Steel? I don't know, I can't tell. Come on. Yeah. It looks sick though. Super clear water. Canyon like. Yeah, we gotta be stealthy. Uh-huh.
Let's try another spot. Yeah. About 20 coho in here and we couldn't get one to bite. I don't know, they're just being spooky, they're moving around like crazy. them so it's been like man the whole time we said we just want to catch one if I get this in call I'm buying dinner oh I don't know what it is but it's a, I think it's a call or something it's not hasn't jumped or nothing oh it's a steely I think nice <laughs> it's not like the steelhead back home no. I haven't had a steely fight like this in a while he doesn't want to come in. Come here, buddy. Oh. Yes. Look at that thing. Yes, Coop. That is literally the nicest steel I've ever <laughs> caught. Look at the color. <laughs> oh, a lot of mark on her. Doesn't get any better than that. We've been we've been walking for miles today, trekking through the bush, fishing different pools. To catch a steelhead like that. Unreal. I'm done. Like that's <laughs> that made my trip. I'm not joking. That's amazing. Holy that thing didn't even give up. It took me forever to get in, but we got her in. She swam back nice and healthy. We're gonna get back in. We got about an hour left till uh, the sun sets and, and then we gotta regroup and figure out what we're doing tomorrow. This trip's cool because we don't really know what we're doing. We're just going with the flow and making the best of it. Actually, if you want, you want me to hop in? Yeah, and then pull on that cable. And I'll try to feed this down. All the way out? Yeah. I had to look at it, I had to take the sawzall <laughs> to the, check this out. <laughs> I had to cut out the transom with the sawzall. <laughs> this boat's sinking tomorrow. Yeah, you might go down, but you'll be able to steer. Oh. <laughs> you need Allen keys for these, and I had this one old rusty oh thing God. that was like just. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh. It doesn't actually quite fit. You guys got Allen keys? <laughs> Did you find one? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Josh is fixed at temporary. Josh, you're the best. Thanks, Dude, right. anything to help a friend, you know? It's amazing. Can um, I catch some ling cod tomorrow? So nicest guy we showed up last night to pick the boat up to bring it back to his place and then swap vehicles and we we're gonna river fish all day today we, we rolled back and 9 30 at night he's sitting there banging a hammer trying to get it fixed for us so we ended up changing the whole steering cable everything which he was there for like three hours so Josh thanks man appreciate it big time we made it back out here uh, yeah I can't wait it's our last day out here 
so we got like almost a full day before we have to head back to mainland. Yep. And we only got a couple hours out here the other morning and we, were, we caught a few, so I think it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> We end up catching our biggest sling caught of the trip on the last day we spent on Vancouver Island. The 10 day road trip is far from over. We pack our bags and take the ferry back to the mainland to visit our friend Mac at Fred's Custom Tackle. The part of the trip Colin and I were looking forward to the most, chasing giant sturgeon and salmon on the famous Fraser River that runs throughout the mountains of British Columbia. How you doing? Good you? Good. Ready to go slam? Oh yeah, let's do it. How's it going? Cooper. Mac. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Ruben. you. Mac, nice yeah. to meet you. Colin. Nice to meet you. Yeah man, you too. You so uh, to what's your guys' time frame for today? Oh, we don't have one. Okay, so. It's up to you. Yeah. Let's, let's go all day. Let's yeah. do it. Why not? Let's yeah. do it. We'll go try, you guys got salmon tags and sturgeon tags? Yep. So maybe we'll head up to uh, Harrison and go catch some pinks and maybe yeah. get some coal. Dude, that would be awesome. So let's go give her a shot. Yeah, let's do it. Up to a big sturgeon. All well, that's a wrap, guys. We're pulling the boat out. Big shout out to Mac for you know the awesome day. We got one sturgeon, some salmon, pinks, which was awesome. I've never caught a pink salmon before. Had a massive hump on its back, which was pretty cool. And uh, check out Fred's Custom Tackle. They got the best gear loaded up in their boats. Their guides are awesome. Mac was amazing today. We had a bunch of fun. 
and uh, they do charters for you know sturgeon, salmon, everything. It's 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 a blast. You guys got to get out here and try it. But uh, yeah, and one experience. We still got a couple more days. We're gonna load the boat up and uh, figure out what we're gonna do for the next couple days. For the final stop of the road trip, Colin and I meet up with their good friends Cameron Veenstra, Ruben and Brandon Van Dyke, along with their guide Derek, for one last shot at a giant sturgeon on the famous Fraser River. It ends up being the most memorable day of the entire trip. Get to the water, that's it. Yeah. Oh, fight. yeah. He's coming up. Oh. Oh, oh, that was a good head shake. <laughs> it came up like a foot there. Oh. No, nope, he's not done. That's a good first one. Are we bringing her to shore? No. <laughs> no, too small? Too small. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Here he goes. Watch your first black. Yeah, yeah. boys. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Woo! Boom, first one, like 15 minutes <laughs> in. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh. Another Good. one. Another one. <laughs> All right, boys. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping! He's jumping! He's coming up! Oh, oh. boys! <laughs> how big? How big? Uh, he's three how feet. big was he? Three, three feet? feet? That's <laughs> it? I, don't know. I, I think it was bigger than that. that. Go under the boat. <laughs> Yeah, and try and try and move him around. Oh, yeah, he's bigger. <laughs> His tail pretty much over. Oh, I'm beat. <laughs> I'm gonna pass it off. Damn. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little break. <laughs> I just want to get him in. <laughs> oh, he ain't done yet. No. <laughs> he ain't gonna be the biggest <laughs> fight of your life. I can't wait for Cam to fight one of these. <laughs> I know. I was thinking that earlier. Grab <laughs> Holy dude. There he is. Oh yeah. They're like all muscle. All muscle. There you go. Yeah boys. Woo! I made my whole trip right there. My back's killing me. <laughs> my forearms are numb. Let's yeah, go do let's it get again. more. <laughs> I'm drenched. Freaking amazing. Oh, Two yeah. fish so far. We're like an hour in. All the boys are getting fish today. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get me. Cam's first fish ever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, jump, baby. Big fish, Cam. Woo! <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? We just want to have a look at you. <laughs>
Oh, he's going. <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Here he comes, Mike. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Straight up. <on. Woo! laughs> it's so crazy how hard it is. <laughs> <laughs> the grunts. <laughs> sit down. Good <laughs> night. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we got to go. Feel good, Rube? Oh yeah. yeah. It's still going. Pardon me. <laughs> it's much easier watching other people do it. Yeah. You don't really know the feeling until you're behind the rod. It's been a while. We'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Rupa! Wow. <laughs> 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 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. <laughs> and we haven't seen it yet. Woo! How do you feel? It's hard work, man. 35 minutes in. Probably push an hour almost. Uh, 57 minutes. <laughs> Damn. Damn got it. Online, We're online. having fun. <laughs> We're in to win it. It's a big day. <laughs> oh, look at the shakes. <laughs> Seventeen. Ruben's been fighting it like a champ. I don't know how he's doing it. My fish took me like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. It was a five, six foot, and I was beat after that. It's gone, going on over an hour, it's insane. <laughs> Biggest fight I've ever had. Dude, no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. What? Oh, baby. Nine five. Oh! Fish ever. <laughs> 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 
Biggest one he's pulled in. Biggest yeah. one now. Nice. <laughs> Shout out to Dean. Yeah, he's been our guide great. all day. Yeah. We've caught a few fish. That was good. That's speechless. Big teamwork. Brandon, all of you boat. boys are going at yeah. it so good. Thanks, Ma. You're welcome, guys. Stay safe. Love Text you. me like every single six hours. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, shit. Right there, right there, right there. How did I not even, even look? <laughs> you, you threw it. You threw it up. There's no recovering that. Colin decided to throw it into the signal pole. Oh, what is that? What is that? I don't know. I ain't touching that. But it looks dangerous. Oh my god. She's eating the jugular. <laughs> wow. Did you fly here with Dude, it like maybe this? Maybe close your luggage. Why are we making Cam do it all? Dude, I'm laughing about it. <laughs> you guys making a movie or what? Yeah. We're going fishing. It's gonna be cold, wet, miserable. I hate fishing. So yeah, after today, you're either gonna uh, like it about the same, or you're gonna hate it a whole lot more. I already know how it's going. <laughs> you're such a downer. This guy doesn't even fish. He caught a six footer. First fish ever. Probably stop there. Leave it on a high note. <laughs> Mark. Jared, Thanks, Marty, thanks for bringing us out, man. It's gonna happen. 550. It's 550. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. That's uh, top seat right there. <laughs> Big one. Nah, don't let him chill, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a roof! <laughs> Look at the shakes! <laughs> six! You only did one for It was two! You're supposed to do six! Two! Man, he's so strong! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a wrap. Giant sturgeon, that was so much fun. Unbelievable day, a day me and Colin and all the boys will never ever forget absolute dinosaur of a fish and you know good friends big fish and scratch the next fishing adventure off the bucket list sturgeon and coming out to british columbia alone has been on mine and colin's bucket list for a long time such a blast we're getting everything packed up here heading to the airport oh i had a ton of fun with everything from fishing ling cod in the ocean to uh, fishing wild rivers on Vancouver Island for salmon and steelhead, and then to obviously fishing the Fraser River for giant sturgeon. Can't wait to get back out here next year. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next one. Catch some big ones, and yeah, we'll see you at the next one.